Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year 2018 is actually here and it is crazy like I cannot believe it was 2008 10 years ago like I seriously do not understand how fast time flies like it's crazy. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and New Year's celebrations and I wish you all the best for 2018. And yeah, in this video, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my 2017 favorites, things that I love throughout the year. And I'm going to be splitting it into three categories. I'm going to talk about beauty first and then fashion and then my random favorite. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And also make sure you press the bell button so you can get notified for whenever I upload a video. And also let me know down below in the comments what videos you'd like to see from me for this year. And yeah, if you want to hear some of my favorites for 2017, then let's just get started. Okay, so my favorite brow product is the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I find that it's literally a brow transformer. It's perfect for you if you have sparse brows. But I still felt like I needed something else. I finally caved in and purchased the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And oh my god, this is a life changer. It helps get into those really sparse areas and it literally makes defining my brow so much easier because I love the like dramatic structured brow sort of look like the Instagram brow I guess you can say and this literally was such a lifesaver I used the shade dark brown and I've literally ran out of it this is literally how much I have left of it and I just purchased a new one and it's just amazing it's got a spoolie on the other side as well to come out your brows and you can even use this for more natural looking brows as well if that's what you prefer. Now for so long I was trying to find the perfect nude shade for my lips except because I've got fair skin tone I could never find a right nude. They either had too much of a peach or an orange undertone or they were too brown and too dark and I could not find one for the longest time and then in one of my videos my first impressions video I tried out this Joseph Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Sand and oh my god, it's like the perfect nude lipstick. Not wearing it at the moment. I'm going to be talking about what I'm wearing in a second. But I love, love, love this shade. The only thing I find with this lipstick is that it's quite drying and it's hard to reapply because your lips will just keep getting more dry when you reapply it. So that's the downside, but the shade is so amazing and I love this. And then a little bit after that, I discovered the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is from her Vacation Edition collection. And this is in the shade Naked and this is what I'm wearing right now. And this is also an amazing nude. It's just a little bit darker than the Sand Liquid Lipstick I just showed from Days of Colors. But I love, love, love this formula. It's even creamier than her MAC formula because this is her Velvet formula. I just said formula like a thousand times. But I love, love, love this lipstick and I really hope she makes this like a permanent lip kit with like a magic lip liner because I would love that. Then the next thing, you've probably seen me use this in so many videos and it is the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in the shade Seduce. This is an up close of the shade and I feel like it's just a nude blush. You can literally wear it with any makeup look. It's amazing and definitely recommend this if you're not a huge blush person as well because it literally matches everything and it's not too like dramatic as well. It's just like a nice nude blush shade. And also you have seen me use and rave about this so many times but it is the Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow and this is in the shade Santorini. Like literally you can see the label is coming off because I've used it that many times. It's my favorite highlight ever. I'm gonna be super careful when showing this to you guys. It's a loose powder highlight, so I just use it with my Morphe M501 brush, sprayed with the MAC Fix Plus, and seriously, whenever I wear this highlight, I always get complimented on it. I always get asked what highlight I'm wearing. It's seriously blinding, and I love, love this so much. It's my go-to highlight, I love it. And if you know me, you know that the Benefit Hula Bronzer is my all-time favorite bronzer. But this year I discovered another bronzer. This is my second favorite bronzer. Hula bronzer is still my favorite. This is my second favorite though. And it's from the Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Face Palette. And I just have been loving this bronzer in here. This is called Hollywood Boulevard. I find that it gives me like such a sun kissed look. I've spoken about this quite a few times in my videos. I like to use this when I'm not contouring. And I just want an all over bronzy look on my face and I'm obsessed with this bronzer. It's buttery. It's super pigmented as well. I love this bronzer. It will definitely be my go-to in summer because it kind of has like an orange undertone which gives you that sun-kissed sort of tan look and I love it. 
And now I'm going to be talking about these lashes I've been loving this year. And these lashes are by Flutter Lashes, the Inner Style Intoxicating. I love, love, love these lashes. They literally suit pretty much any eye look. And my all time favorite lashes are Miami by Lily Lashes. But they're quite expensive and these are so much cheaper and they're amazing as well and i've used these heaps of times in my videos as well and on instagram they don't feel too heavy they're voluminous they give you length and they're only like 9.95 american dollars i think so that's amazing and their shipping isn't too expensive for australia so they're like a pair of lashes i've been loving this year and now the next product I used in my everyday go-to makeup look video. And this has literally been my go-to eyeshadow palette this year. And it is the Baked Browns Eyeshadow Palette by Jess of Colors. I cannot explain to you how pigmented and how blendable these shadows are. Like, it's insane. I'm not sure how much this was but i so recommend it to you you can literally see how messy it is i literally use it all the time and i love the brush in here as well it's just amazing it's got your perfect like nude shades if you're just starting off with makeup this is also a great palette because there's just a basic nude brown shades in here and it blends so easily it applies amazingly and i love this palette and now the next product, like how can I not mention this product? Like the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe was one of the like greatest makeup launches of the year. I haven't used this a whole bunch actually, but I love this palette. This is amazing, also amazing for starting off with makeup because this literally has every shade you need. You've got some nice pops of color in here. You've got your neutral browns. Again, super pigmented and super blendable. Morphe is one of my favorite brands and I love Jaclyn Hill as well and they did amazing on this collaboration. Like, I don't know who doesn't own this palette or who doesn't want it because it's amazing. And now the last beauty product is actually a skincare product and this is the moisturizer I've literally been using all year and it is the Tarte Drink of H2O moisturizer. I literally just ran out of it like the last week of, look at that, it's empty. The last week of, oh, that's not so good. Last week of 2017. I didn't find like it made a dramatic difference in my makeup. It just felt super hydrating. It smells so good. You guys always ask me about my skincare routine and I literally have no skincare routine. I just wash my face with water and apply this as my moisturizer. Now that I'm out of it, I actually purchased some different moisturizer and some other skincare products because this year I really want to start looking after my skin and taking care of it a bit more because I do wear so much makeup and I do get like quite a bit of texture on my forehead. I want to smooth out my skin a little bit more. So once I do fully inherit this skincare routine that I'm trying out at the moment and I do see some differences, I will definitely do a skincare routine video for you guys because I find that those videos are super helpful and also I just want to mention I have like a combination skin so my whole face is pretty like normal sometimes dry but then my nose sometimes but more so my forehead gets oily and yeah so I've got combination skin but I'll definitely let you guys know what products I'm using for my skincare routine right now if it works. So yeah, that's it for beauty right now and let's just move on to fashion. So one of the first things in fashion I wanted to talk about has been my favorite for 2017 is the brand IMG. You have probably seen so many people wearing this brand and talking about it, but seriously, oh my God, like I feel like that brand is literally me in a clothing brand, if you know what I'm saying. It's literally my exact style, like everything, like I love everything they create. Yeah, I have so many of their things, so I'll just quickly show you, like I've got this camo mesh top which i love this neck bodysuit and then like a camo jacket and then this oh my god i love this so much it's just like this huge like teddy bear jacket i am obsessed with that insert like a photo of me wearing it i love IMGR. they're worn by models like bella hadid and then they're not like too overpriced as well like some of their products are a bit expensive but they're definitely not like too much and you can Still purchase them the only thing i find that is i can't buy their pants because they're such a big sizing extra small is huge on me like i'd have to go two sizes down and i've tried so hard like i've gone to the stores tried them on but there would be nowhere i could alter them because they're so big and i wish they fit me like my friend she's usually like a size medium and she had to buy the small in one of the pants and she's like pretty tall and she had to go size down so yeah, they're quite big with their pant sizing, but honestly, their styles, their designs, the colors, like 
everything is amazing i love their clothing so much and the quality is great as well now one of my favorite trends for 2017 was camo and camo was in a bit ago but then it went out again and now it came back in 2017 and i was pretty happy with that because I love camo and as I showed you guys before, I've got like these camo pieces. I wish I could have camo pants, but I can't find any that fit me because I'm tiny. Um, I'm usually like an extra small or an Australian UK size 4, which is like US 0 or 0, 0. So yeah, it's very hard for me to find camo pants because they're usually a big mix because they're more of like a cargo fit. But I've loved the camo trend from 2017. I think it was a great trend and yeah i loved it now the next product i have is quite a bit of a pricey product and honestly you don't have to spend this much money on this but like literally since i was a kid when i was in like year seven one of my dream jobs was to be either a fashion designer or a fashion stylist like i love fashion i've loved fashion like even before i started loving makeup and beauty and fashion has just always been my like number one love literally i love fashion so much and i've always dreamed of having a designer bag my one dream is to have a chanel bag but they're so expensive but last year i was able to purchase my very first designer bag and i've literally worn it every time i go out like it's my go-to bag i wear it all the time and you've probably seen it on my instagram but it is this gucci marmont bag this is the mini size it's the smallest size it's just black and gold it matches with any outfit I love the gold detailing, it's got like a shoulder, a long strap so you can wear it as a crossbody and then on the back it's just got those GGs. I love, love, love this so much. It's definitely pricey as I said before and you don't have to go spending over a thousand dollars on a bag but I love designer bags, I've always loved designer bags since I was little and I worked hard for this. I've been working for over four years, I have a job like outside of YouTube and yeah I had to for myself with a designer bag i've just been wanting one for way too long not to get one so i love this i thought this was perfect because it's black as i said it matches with any outfit you can dress it up and you can even wear it with casual outfits and i love this bag so much it's beautiful and then another trend i've been loving is layered necklaces i'm wearing a few necklaces right now like these chain ones i got from sports girl and then this one i got from the m jewelers they have amazing jewelry on the M Jewelers. Like, I love their stuff. And yeah, I've just been loving the laid necklaces. I think it's so pretty and you can dress up any outfit. And then the last trend I've been loving for the year are these train conductor hats. This is by the brand Brixton. I got it from Princess Polly. I've worn this a few times and I want to get more colors. This is literally the only one I've got in this style. But they're just so cute. I used to hate them at first, but then I fell in love with them. And yeah, this is just a plain black one. You can wear it with any casual outfit. It's a dressy outfit. It's just a really cute accessory. Okay, and now we are moving on to random favorites. I just like want to talk about like some experiences from this year. So first of all, I went to four concerts this year, uh, I mean last year, oh my god, my bad, last year, 2017, that's like the most amount of concerts I've been to in a year. I wish I could have gone to more, like there were more I wanted to go to, but I got strict parents, so couldn't do that. But I went to Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Drake, and then The Weeknd, and they were all amazing, and my favourite one of the year, and my favourite concert I've ever been to is the Drake concert, like... He is incredible. He's an amazing performer. He's so attractive and good looking and he was amazing. I'm literally wearing the hoodie from the concert right now, like revenge. The concert was amazing. The lighting was everything. The stage was like in the middle. That was like also the closest seats I've ever had for a concert and I could literally see him like so detailed. Like it was amazing. The lighting, the performance the vocals, the sound, the everything. The supporting acts were like music producers, so they were playing some bomb music, getting us hyped up before the concert even started. And oh my God, best concert I've ever been to, Drake. I love him. He's one of my favorite artists. Drake, Rihanna, and Khalid are my favorite artists, especially Drake and Rihanna. They're like my top two. And I'm so happy I got to see Drake. I've been waiting years, years, years for him to do a concert here, and I'm so happy. That I got to go because I wasn't allowed to go to the last one, as I said, strict parents, but I loved him. If he's having concert in your city, please go. You will not regret it. It was the best concert I've ever been to. And yes, moving on now. And then the next experience I want to talk about is VidCon. VidCon finally came to Australia. Like, literally Australia is so delayed with everything. But VidCon finally came here and I got to go. And it was such an amazing experience. And I just loved the atmosphere. There were so many people vlogging there. I actually vlogged 
but I wasn't happy with all the content I got. Like I didn't vlog a lot of it and that's why I never uploaded it, but I can't wait to go again this year. I have to go again, like it was just an amazing atmosphere, everyone was so into it. It was so amazing to see some content creators as well. Like I saw Tyler Oakley, he's like an OG YouTuber and, and I got to see like Patrick Stein and Shannon so as well and yeah. And then I went to a makeup masterclass that was hosted by Makeup by Christina on Instagram. I got to meet her as well and that was my first makeup masterclass I attended and actually first makeup class in general that I've ever attended so that was fun. And then I also got to meet Desi and Katie on the squad tour they came to australia thank you so much to white fox boutique for bringing them down under they're like two of my favorite youtubers ever like i love them so much and i just feel like i relate to them so much they're hilarious i love their dogs their snapchats are always so funny and they're just funny people in general and i love them and they were so beautiful so stunning their husbands were there as well i didn't get a photo with them but i was actually first in line to meet Disney and katie which was insane when i got there and there was no one there i was like shocked like i literally thought i was like gonna be one of the last ones to get there but i got there like just before six o'clock i know insane but i had to meet them they're like two of my favorite youtubers i've learned so much from them and i love them and i'm so happy i got to meet them like insane the squad tour was lit and then another thing i got to do last year was go to the gold coast if you don't know where the gold coast is it's in the state queensland and literally all families in australia always go for family holidays because there's like theme parks and things there and it's always pretty warm there as well so i got to go there for the first time and that was really fun as well i never go on vacations that was literally like the first holiday i went on other than i went to perth last year once i mean i went to perth 2016 which was the year before last year i keep forgetting that 2017 was last year not this year but yeah gold coast was super fun and i got to go to movie world I actually did a travel diary when i went there and you guys can check that video out if you want to see what i got up to and now moving on to some other random favorites so First of all, my favourite TV show of the year was Riverdale. Like, I'm sure so many of you guys have seen it and love it as well. It's like such a good show. Like, I love drama, teen drama, TV shows. If you have any suggestions of any, please let me know down below. I've seen One Tree Hill, The OC, Pretty Little Liars. Like, I love those kinds of shows. And Riverdale is such a good show. I love it. And then my favourite album of 2017. I loved both More Life by Drake and American Teen by Khalid. But my favourite will probably have to be American Teen by Khalid. Sorry Drake, I love you. But Khalid, that album was everything. I literally love every single song of it. Like there's so many albums that I love, like all the songs on there. But this album, I can literally listen to every single song like over and over and over again. I can't get sick of it. My favourite songs from that album were American Teen, Location, Saved, Shot Down, and Young Dumb and Broke. I loved those songs. Literally love all the songs on that album though, seriously. His voice is so angelic. I love Khalid. He actually did a concert in Melbourne, but as I said, strict parents couldn't go. Like, I literally want to cry every time I think about it. I hope he comes this year because if he comes this year, then I'll get to go. But American Teen, favorite album of the year. But my favorite song of the year, let me just get it up. Like, I feel like every time you start to hear like the beginning of this song, like you know what it is. Everything's about to get lit. That's enough for that. I love this song. And it was actually the song I listened to most in 2017 because I'm sure everyone that has Spotify got this, but they created a playlist of all the songs I listened to most throughout the year. And Better Kelly was number one. And honestly, it makes so much sense. I know all the words to that song. Like literally, I listened to it so many times. And I'm not even sick of it. I can listen to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again because it's that dope. It's that lit. I love it that song and also speaking of spotify you can check out my spotify i always leave it linked down below it's just it's martina xo i have so many playlists on there if you guys want me to do like a playlist video please let me know down below i've been wanting to do one for so long but if you want to see one i will definitely do it i have like throwback playlists i've got like dope playlists like lit playlists like any kind of playlist i got you covered um, but I love music. Yeah, definitely check out my Spotify if you want to hear some of the songs I'm into. And then the second last thing I want to talk about is these YouTubers I love, love, loved in 2017. If you have me on Snapchat or follow me on Twitter, you already know I'm obsessed with these people. But it is the Ace Family. 
like i love them i love their relationship their family girls like come on they're all beautiful they're amazing people like on the inside as well they're so kind and generous and i just love the positive vibes they always try and put out there in the world and they're just amazing people if you've heard of the ace family but i've never seen their videos please go watch them like i love the ace family they're like literally one of my top favorite youtubers as well I love them so much and I love their style as well like I think they're amazing and they work hard and they're so deserving of everything they have and then the last favorite thing of 2017 I want to talk about is you guys everyone that is subscribed to my channel I just want to say a massive thank you for watching me for subscribing to me for liking my videos for commenting like I literally read every single comment so I am so thankful for all you guys that always like constantly show me love and support on all my social medias like i love you guys so much may not be like the biggest family in the world over here but seriously every single one of you guys means a lot to me i appreciate you guys so much like thank you for wanting to watch my videos thank you for wanting to continue to watch my videos and supporting me and not like judging me like i have flaws and i just want to thank you guys so much for accepting me and wanting to watch my videos and supporting me again as i said and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'm so excited for 2018. I have so many videos planned for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you want me to do as well. So I can continue to create videos you want to see from me. I have been dreaming of doing YouTube since 2012. Like I was obsessed with Bethany Moda. I just got hooked and started watching so many people. And then I started wanting to do YouTube myself. But as I said, stupid parents it wasn't allowed. So I had to wait till I turned 18 to start. And you guys literally are helping making my dream a reality. Like I love doing this. I love filming. So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything. I love you all. Mwah. So that is it for this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Thank you for watching to this entire video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing 2018 ahead. I'm so excited to see what this year has to offer. Last year was a pretty great year for me. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also if you are new to my channel, please subscribe down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.